Bro, I'm back from the gym, sweated out my hair, had to go in with the shampoo, so I did um, two shampoos with the Garnier Fructis, and because I knew I was going to put heat on my hair, I needed to go in with some like heavy duty moisture, so I actually mixed a little concoction, I love how I'm just diving on into this video, I'm like in the mood, and today I have the time, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm trying to transform my life, okay, I want to see... Uh, what's gonna happen when I do my hair today. So um, I'm low-key excited. This is also not a tutorial This is just solely an experiment. So proceed with caution uh, But anyway, I've been loving the Miss Jessie's super sweet back treatment And I use quite a bit of this honestly when I bought this um, And I initially used it. I used so much because I have a shower routine if you guys want to check that video out um, I thought this wouldn't last me as long as it does, and I probably use it once a week. I don't use it nearly as much as I should, but this is meant to help increase hair growth, and that intrigued me in the store. So I mixed it with this almond oil, and I actually like this. I think I'm going to start keeping it in the shower and using it to lock in the moisture because my hair is just dry. And I'm going to be honest, I'm very lazy. I'm a lazy natural. I don't like to put a ton of product in my hair. I do a lot of wash and goes because I'm in the gym sweating all the time. So my scalp just needs to feel fresh. So I think having that in the shower, mixing it with some conditioner. Literally, my leave-in is my conditioner. Like, that is how lazy I am. So I'm going to start using some oil to lock in that moisture. Um, but I've had my hair up in this, like, uh, turban towel, which you can find this on my Amazon store along with everything else I'm going to use today. So that way I won't have to put so much heat to blow dry it first. So I have some It's a 10 products. I used to use this on my hair when I was relaxed. So I figured why not try them out. This one's almost out and I found this in my mom's bathroom. So we're going to use this. This is the Miracle Leave-In from It's a 10. And I need this for, I think this is a heat protectant. Is this a heat Yeah, flat iron spray and thermal protector. So I ain't gonna have no breakage, okay? So I need this, and also where I live, it is very humid. So this has the um, like climate control, controls frizz, helps prevent split ends, seals and protects hair color, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, um, it helps for damaged dry hair, adds shines, detangle, like it just does a lot of stuff. And then I'm going to also probably use this before I flat iron my hair. This one's um, more like an oil, but it's like a spray. So this is the Miracle Shine Spray. I love how this stuff smells. So this is a weightless shine. Helps to soften coarse hair. Improves elasticity. Antioxidant. Environmental protector. Anti-humidity and minimizes frizz. Thermal protector. Blah, blah, blah. Locks in moisture. Woo, woo, woo. But two protectants for heat yes please so yeah i think that's just all i'm gonna use product wise just because i don't want my hair to be oiled and like weighed down so here's my afro i don't have anything in it by the way i feel like when i rinsed out the mask and the oil combination it left a good bit of like moisture behind I try to rinse out as much as possible because I don't want my hair to be weighed down and like oily so just to have that bit of moisture is really all I need so I'm low-key nervous but I'm kind of excited to see what's gonna happen so I'm gonna use this blow dryer this is the ones that I prefer with the comb I actually prefer the one with the double row so we're gonna put this to the test and see if I can get my hair um, it's like 70% wet as dry as possible oh it is so soft you guys you need to go pick up some almond oil I'm trying to decide should I split it down the look at these curls oh my gosh I hope my curls revert because ain't nobody got the time for this um Wow, I don't even want to do my hair it looks so cute like this. I need to fix this lighting though So y'all are gonna have to bear with me. Also, I got these silk scrunchies So they don't damage my hair like these do I feel like these are pulling my hair out. So 
I had to cop some of these. Okay, so I highly recommend you guys get some of those as well. Um, I'll put them on. Actually, I'll link them down below. But I think I'm going to go in with a light spray because I have that oil in my hair just to help me blow dry it. And then detangle this and distribute. I'm excited to see what my length is going to look like, y'all. How long y'all think it's going to be? Drop a comment down below <laughs> if you've watched my last hair update. This stuff, oh my god, it smells so good. I've also seen that they came out with a, it's a 10 for coily hair. So if any of you guys have tried that out, let me know what you guys think. I haven't seen too many reviews online um, about it, so maybe I'll try those out when I get a chance. Oh, I need to fix this lighting, be right back. but the comb is like not wanting to stay in place so my hair honestly it dries so fast with the comb attachment i'm shook what is this length that we have going on what i mean i do length checks in the shower so i know my hair is well past my collarbone which is right here but girl we have some inches yes 10 months post big job so play with me that's what my ends are looking like not too bad, they don't look too uneven, but girl, we got some inches. <laughs> Bro, I was not prepared. All right, let's get on to the third section. So I'll just chop this one in half. Oh my God, what in the George Washington? Shrinkage is a lie. take a lunch break because I'm hungry bro I did not think I had this much hair I feel like I have a curly cut y'all see the volume look it's the Leo in me serving my mane okay I don't even know who this girl is but honestly I'm so glad I did my makeup so I can get the full effect okay this is about as straight as my hair is gonna get um like dry I definitely need a trim but like girl I'm gonna give me some booty crack like hair and I just don't have the time for that it's really hot in here so I really like this product for blow drying and the fact that it is heat protectant great it's not weighing my hair down as you guys can tell hold on excuse me come here Come here. Shh. Stop all that. You talk too much. Stop that. Okay, so. I'm trying to get my life. Okay, I want to do like a, 
Instagram reel because my hair never looks like this. And I've saved this audio that I think would be fun to do a post to because ain't nobody seen my hair look like this. <sighs> Let me see if I can do a, um, I don't, don't want to do a boomer. You love that. Honestly, let me know in the comments. What do you guys feel about the blow dry look? Like, not straightening it, but just like the blown out look. I need to know. And also, side note, I need to put you guys onto this almond oil. Start putting it in your even just your even just your conditioner. Even just your conditioner, not necessarily just using it for a mask. If you have dry hair, shut up. What are you barking at? Go get your toy or something, bruv. Um, we love to see it. I'm gonna save this. <sighs> my biggest issue, because I have thick hair, thick fine hair, I need to try to pull my hair out. So I really had to take my time and work at the ends to detangle. And that it's a 10 really came in clutch. But don't use too much, because it'll make your hair, like, greasy or whatever. So... I should go out in public like this for a day. 24 hours. <sighs> Sorry guys, I need to take a break because my arms, I just did upper body and full body the day before. Your <laughs> girl's tired. Um, also, let me know, all of my curl friends, what products do you guys recommend? Not necessarily for straight hair, but like what products are you loving in general? Right now, because I need to switch it up and find something. Love my my lion's mane. Yo, have y'all ever? I just okay. I have this <laughs> obsession with watching lions, like lion videos on Instagram, and I follow a really fun account that actually shows you what it's like to care for lions and stuff. Um, they're so majestic and so beautiful, so I just, I don't know, it allows me to tap into the Leo in me and embody that power and that strength and the king and the queen energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, go look up some lion videos, let me just say. I'm going to start heating up my straightener now because I'm just talking too much. And I honestly, I don't see too much shedding. Girl, when I was relaxed, hair everywhere, disgusting. So the fact that I don't see much of that is amazing. So this is the straightener that I have. I don't know if it's good or not. The one I prefer is on my Amazon. It's by Croc. It's a little bit thicker, like an inch and a half. Um, so it's better for personally for me. But this is actually a Chi. So I'll drop the link for it down below. It's a really long cord. Which is nice. I don't know what heat to put this on, y'all. I used to put it all the way up, and I'm I'm scared. So I think it goes up to 450. And I don't want to do too many passes. So I'm gonna put this on 400. Okay, I'm gonna have to section. And I only have one clip. I really, I can only find one, so we're going to have to make it work. Oh yeah, I'm going to use this, whatever is left. Not too much, again, I don't want my hair to be too greasy, but I find that this helps, one, protect, and then have the iron glide better, like more smooth um, in my hair. Oh my god, I need to get my ends cut. <laughs> Don't come for me in the comments. Okay, and I don't really have a method. Um, I just do small sections, so that way I'm not doing 500 freaking... There's nothing worse than going over your hair 5,000 freaking times. Wow, that's already hot. I'm scared. Oh, you know that 
feeling when you, ooh, with the hot comb when you were a kid. I hated that. Right by the roots, my back would be tingling. That's just how, oh my god, I just had a flashback. I'm definitely traumatized. Oh, girl, smells like burnt hair, but wow. Okay, 400 is a good temperature. This is looking good. Oh my god. Why is it smoking? I haven't done this in so long. But okay. Y'all see my ends? I wore white so y'all could actually see what's going on. Yeah, we need to get those cut. But I really don't. Mm, I re mm. Okay, I know I just said two, but. I don't want to get it cut because I'm not really planning on wearing my hair straight. So in my mind, does it really matter, you know? Does it really matter to cut? I guess so, because you don't want it to be split. And then it'll continue to split up the shaft. So yeah, I guess. But I worked really hard to get my little bitty inches, okay? Yeah, I hear them snapping. That's no bueno. I wonder how long this is going to take me to straighten. What time is it? It's 11.20, so let's see how long this takes to do my whole head. Wow, my hair is pretty long. I honestly didn't think it was going to be this length. Ooh, look at those crispy... Oh, I need to go get my hair cut, bro. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll do that while my hair is straight. Bro, comment down below. Should I get my hair cut? <laughs> I just need to know. Subscribe because in my next video, I'll be cutting my hair. Oh my god, can you imagine? Okay, well, this is really that exciting. I'm gonna speed it up and show you guys my end results because, again, this is not a tutorial, it's more like um, an experiment.
okay, so all right guys, sorry for the lighting. It's 11:58. I don't really remember what time it was when I said, "Oh, I'm going to see how long this takes." I think it was like 11 20 um i finished straightening my hair i really like this chi actually the one inch is really nice now my hair i guess the way that either i cut it or the way that it's growing out like since i have a middle part both sides are pretty much even um i definitely have layers in my hair was that intentional nah um dead 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 you can definitely see how like i don't know wiry my ends are they're kind of thin they're not as thick and full as the rest um and it it's hard to tell because the background let's see um it's like staggered right so i kind of just want to go snip the ends a little bit long layers and this honestly would be a good time to get a haircut because i don't like cutting my hair when it's curly and I'm honestly looking like a Christmas tree with my hair like this right now. Um, I'm not planning on doing my hair like this. Like, I don't put heat on my hair for the fact that I want it to be healthy and strong and booty crack length. So, I don't know, you guys. I don't even want to wear it like this because it looks just, no, it doesn't look good. I need to fix this. Um, but I guess that's where I'm going to wrap up this video today, show you guys what my hair looks like from the back. I don't know. Dead. <laughs> it needs to be, um, snipped and I think I'll feel a lot better about that. I mean, it's been 10 months, right? So I guess, do I cut my hair? Let me know in the comment box below. I think my fear, because I just did a huge, a huge chop. I did the big chop 10 months ago. I'm like, oh, all this progress and what? We're going to go backwards. I feel like that's where my mindset is at. But also on the other side, I want to retain my length. I want to have longer, stronger hair. I don't want it to split up the shaft. So I kind of need to just get over that fear of having my hair look a lot shorter and look i wear my hair in wash and goes all the time and i finally have a bun where all my short pieces like my shorter layers don't stick out crazy so now i'm like oh they get a cut we're not gonna have our little bun you know what i'm saying so i don't know it's kind of cute in a ponytail side note when i had um relaxed hair these little pieces on this side were always broken off i don't know anyone else but i have never been able to grow these side pieces this mother effing long ever in my life so that is just wow an accomplishment and i think it looks so cute if i were to do let me show you guys like a little low ponytail with like these little pieces out like what <laughs> Kayla, don't get used to this. I work out too much. This is not a practical style, having my hair straight. But I've always wanted to just try different looks. And now that my hair is like this, wow, that part is not even. What in the world? Um, I don't know. I've always wanted to do, like, the two pieces out in the front like this. And the rest goes back. Like, I've always wanted to do this. Girl, my hair is long enough now. Okay, this looks ridiculous. Let's just pretend like it's not dead. But, and there's maybe like a little bend on the end, you know? Like, wow, my hair has really grown so much since the big chop. I had like an inch of hair and it stopped at my nose bump. So... We're getting there, you guys. New fall look? I don't know. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna head out. Thumbs up this video, you guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links for everything I've used, especially these little um, satin hair ties, life changer, and they don't leave creases and they don't tug on your hair. It's like wearing a bonnet, but in a um, hairstyle hair tie type ting so uh, yeah 
Let me see if I can get a hair appointment. Bye. Bubble time, bubble time, bubble time.